Hello, I'm Rachel Long and I am going to read a poem for you from my debut collection, My Darling from the Lions, uh, which is published by Picador. It's called Apples. Last night, I missed my train by seconds. So close that one part of me did catch it and waved from the window to the other half, still panting on the platform, tits play doing out of a shit bra. I couldn't sleep for an hour and a quarter, the exact time between the two slices of me reaching home in separate taxis, each driven by a brother who co-owned the firm. Today, I'm assuming the recovery position in my favorite outfit, a jumper with just knickers, the perfect hot cold combo, like a bowl of baked crumble and ice cream. I am magazine educated. So I've known for a while now that my body is an apple. The supporting theory, I bruise so easy, I worry it's leukemia. No, the doctor says again, it's just your dark skin. She recommends scar serum. When I was bored after service, mom still counting the collection and insisting on sweeping from altar to street, I'd sit in front of a pillar playing with my brain Barbie. She was brown with tattoos and I made her have sex with a grown man in a toilet cubicle. I don't remember her face or her body, nor what I named her, something beginning with N. When the mum of my then best friend said her daughter wasn't allowed to play with me because I was another N word, meaning mum went round in her dressing gown to slap her silly with her tongue, then returned to scatter the kitchen and shred dad's guardian for not sticking up for us, for never saying anything. After that, I had a sleep dream in which I grew a bright green face, granny smith hued, high polished, and even though I was green, I was the most beautiful woman in the world. I had the best hair and even did humanitarian work. I was interviewed about both things each night for TV.